All right, let's take this thing apart. All right, so the uh, QOM4 port uh, mini PC. Uh, let's make a, a notch right here. All right. And that's the uh, that's the bottom. So we have the uh, the memory here, and this looks like the M SATA drive, and uh, this is where the the wireless should be going. it around see more view of the ports Let's see if this back comes off yep So you can see the the heat sink is not all that big, but it is attached to the uh, rest of the case, which is all metal. So it, it is acting like a giant heat sink. Uh, let's see, can we? Yeah, we can probably pop this out even more.
So I think they marked the, the screws uh, for warranty purposes uh, because there's a, a yellow residue there and it looks like they want to keep track if somebody has opened this up. Still a little tight, so I want to make sure there's no more screws holding it together. Feels like there's one more. So this is how the uh, the reverse side looks, or this is actually the normal side, except the uh, the case is upside down, so it acts like a giant heat sink. But this is normally how the uh, the part looking down always appears. But in this case, they they reversed it so they could uh, make the case and a bigger heat sink. But this is how it looks close up and bottom side with all the uh, the memory and the M SATA drive removed Let's see what uh, can we see what kind of brand that is this solid state drive doesn't say who the manufacturer is 32 gigs there's a QR code there. Memory is Kingston. And let's see what else can we see about this. Can't see what's on the processor, but it's a uh, I believe it's a Celeron J1900. So we could look up the specs for that. There's all kinds of jumpers here. I don't know what they're for. Uh, there wasn't a, a spec sheet that came with this. But uh, it looks like a nice little board. 